I am going to solder up the um, LED matrix display that I made a video of a few days ago. So basically what is inside of this box is a Arduino Pro Mini and this shield. And the shield is composed of the matrix and a button and a couple of resistors on the back. So we start by taking the resistors and soldering them onto the PCB. So when I do this, I like to start by putting a small amount of solder on one side of the pad. Like this. And then I take a set of tweezers and holding a resistor, I solder one side of each resistor onto the PCB. And even though it's not necessary, I try and keep the numbers pointing up so that later I can figure out what size I used. Although that's strictly not necessary because it'll work without being um, integer side up. So once I have one side of each resistor soldered, then I go through and I solder the other side. And then frequently I just touch them up one more time to make sure I have a good connection. Okay, so then once the resistors are soldered, then I go ahead and put the LED matrix on. And in this case, it has this orientation, which for this PCB, actually, that's the wrong orientation. This is the correct orientation. Um, in this PCB, this is one of the first PCBs I designed, and I didn't put a labeling on which side the text should be on. And since there's the same number of pins on both sides, you can actually put it on backward. So in future PCB designs, I actually have labeled which side is the text side or some other method of conveying which orientation the matrix should go on. Okay, so with these matrices, the first thing I do is I solder one of the pins. And then once that one pin is soldered, I go ahead and I make sure that I like the alignment 
onto the PCB. Because once I have all of the pins soldered, it becomes much more difficult to remove it or to just slide it in one direction or another. So then I go ahead and solder an opposite pin and just confirm again that I like how straight it is on the PCB. And then I go ahead and solder all the other pins. Now, the next step is to put on the button. And the buttons don't have a specific orientation, so it doesn't matter if it goes on this way, if it goes on this way. So for the button, the first thing I do, again, is I put a little bit of solder on one of the pads. And then I solder one pin of the button onto the PCB. And then I check if I like the alignment. And in this case, I want to move it over slightly because even though if I soldered it like that, it would work, it's not as pretty as it could be. And that alignment is pretty good, but again, maybe a little bit more over. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. And then I go ahead and I solder all the other pins. And then lastly, we have to put on the female pin headers. And these can be a bit tricky because they have a tendency to not be perpendicular to the board. So one thing that makes it a lot easier is if you have something that already has pins in it to um, use as a guideline for what is perpendicular. So I go ahead and I stick these in the Pro Mini. And then we have all of the parts together. And then I can go ahead and solder one pin on each end. And then we can take it off and check to make sure that it's more or less horizontal or perpendicular. And then go ahead and solder all the other pins.
And that's a little bit much on that one pin, but that's okay. Should be electrically fine. Okay, and then the whole thing is soldered. 